Hey pilots, it's Nick here from Part-Time Pilot. Today's video we're going to talk about stalls. So this is part of my Fundamentals of Aerodynamics video playlist. If you click the icon popping up in the part, top right of your screen, you can be able to check out the other videos in that playlist and it's only growing. And if you want to know when I add a new video, be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button in the bottom right. Before we get started, I just want to mention there's a link in the description to a free study guide you'll see forward slash free study guide it takes you to my website all you got to do is enter your email that is all you have to do and it's completely free you'll get a study guide with over 170 plus slides of stuff like this it's perfect for studying for the faa private pilot written or your oral check ride coming up okay let's get to stalls so here we have a chart of lift coefficient of lift which for our purposes is going to be lift versus angle of attack on the x-axis now as the angle of attack increases from left to right on the chart you see that lift has a linear with relationship with it so as angle of attack increases lift increases however lift only increases until a certain point before it rapidly turns around and starts to decrease this point is a certain angle of attack, okay? Called the critical angle of attack. Once the critical angle of attack is reached, again, re lift is reduced rapidly. This is what's happening during a stall. You're going past that critical angle of attack and your lift is being diminished in a snap. And that's why your aircraft nose is gonna drop. Let's look at that. what, what this looks like on an aircraft's airfoil. So here we have an airfoil. We have the angle of attack, which is between the free stream air here and the cord line here. Let's say the critical angle of attack is 20 degrees. So right now we're at an angle of attack of 20 degrees. So we're, we're at the critical angle of attack. Again, a stall is caused by the airfoil of an aircraft's wing exceeding the critical angle of attack. So we're at that point here on our diagram. When the critical AOA is exceeded, flow can no longer stay attached to the top of the wing and become separated. So usually you have flow coming here. Usually the flow stays attached to the wing and follows the shape of the wing like it's doing here on the bottom of the wing. But when you exceed the critical angle of attack, the flow can't turn the corner sharp enough. It can't go like this. Instead, it separates from the wing and starts to make these vortices behind the wing. This causes a huge reduction in lift. To recover from a stall, the key thing is obviously to get the AOA back under the critical angle of attack so the flow becomes reattached over the wing. So you want the flow to reattach over the wing. So this is why you want to pitch down as soon as you stall to get back below that critical angle of attack. All right, so now that we've seen it here, I want to show you a cool little gif that shows you how the flow stays attached when you're below the critical angle of attack and once you exceed that it no longer is attached okay so here we have an airfoil that is slowly increasing until it reaches that critical angle of attack and at first you can see these white streamlines are flowing over the top of the airfoil and they're almost reaching to the trailing edge of the airfoil but then you can see there's a point where you get all this black space behind the airfoil and almost the white streamlines turn smoky. And this is the point at which you exceed the critical angle of attack and you get a stall. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions, please comment below. As always, please subscribe. I'm getting my way up to over a thousand subscribers. So any subscribers helps a lot. And then follow me on Instagram at part period time period pilot where I have a bunch of really cool and useful posts that, to help you in your studies. Thanks.